Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. This is Stats and Tats. I'm Dr. Joe. Uh, today we're going to be talking about what is indirect correlation. You've already seen my videos hopefully on direct correlation and correlation itself. Let's talk about indirect. So to begin with, we're going to be talking about the uh, correlation coefficient, lowercase r as always. And in this case, we're going to be talking about when the correlation coefficient is a negative number. It falls to the negative side of zero. So as we talked about, r value can only fall between negative one and one. Today we're dealing with an r value that is a negative r value. Right? And as it moves further away from zero, of course, it becomes stronger. Right? So as it approaches negative one, it becomes a stronger indirect correlation. Okay? And so what does indirect correlation look like? Essentially, indirect correlation is a situation where x is moving up and y is moving down. Right? Or inversely, it could be where y is moving up and x is moving down. Essentially, they are moving in opposite directions, thus the indirect correlation. Um, the example I like to use with my, uh, my students is um, disposable income and number of children. So um, before you have children, you have a lot of disposable income. So zero children equals a lot of disposable income. Likewise, when you have a lot of children, when the x value of children goes up, the y value of disposable income goes down. Want to split it? And this is indirect correlation. So as one variable goes up, the other variable goes down and vice versa. Of course, this is not causational as we've talked about previously. Just because you might have a lot of children doesn't mean you are without disposable income. For example, if you had a high paying job, right? Likewise, just because you don't have children doesn't mean you have disposable income. For example, if you don't make very much money and don't have kids, maybe you can't afford kids, right? Not that I can blame you, I've got four, so let me tell you, they're not cheap. And so indirect correlation is any situation where they're moving in opposite directions, and we see this play out a whole lot. Other examples are um, temperature and amount of clothing worn, um, just all sorts of things. For example, absences to a math class and math scores, hint, hint, go to stats. Um, but that is the nature of indirect correlation. And uh, as I said to end, the R value is a negative value, and you can tell the strength of the negative correlation by how far to the left it is approaching negative one.